Alright, so this has been me for these last couple of weeks. For some reason I managed to get an airway infection and in just a few days I went from this to this. I honestly can't recall ever being this sick and at some point I even set a new personal record with a fever temperature of 41.9 degrees, that's 107.5 Fahrenheit. The whole thing gave me a proper knock on the head and it will take some time before I'm back to normal. But for now, things are definitely looking up. Obviously, this delayed the release of part 2 from Doberfjell. It's delayed a lot of things, but sometimes, well, let's just say that sometimes we must ride some weird trains. This little tale about my recent illness will circle back and make sense at some point, I promise. But for now, I hope you enjoy this properly delayed part 2 from Dobrofjell. Fine morning to you all and welcome to day two up here in Dovrofjell. It's another fine morning, it's crystal clear skies, uh, it's a bit chilly, but uh, that won't stop us because today we're gonna head up to a place called Högsnita. Uh, it's a place where we've been a couple of times before, it's a place where we know there are animals right now, so I'm pretty sure we'll see some animals today. Either way, we're gonna have another beautiful day up in the mountains. I can't stop thinking about yesterday. It, that day had it all. We kind of made our own path up into the mountains using our snowshoes and we couldn't find the muskox we saw from down by the road. And after we had finished eating, we almost gave up hope and then we just decided, oh, we gotta walk for another 20 minutes and see if we can find them. And right at the very end, just before daylight disappeared, we saw those two musk oxen. And it was fantastic. <laughs> uh, I went to bed yesterday with a giant smile on my face. So if you want to see that story, you can check it out right here. But today, we're going to explore the beautiful place called Högsnita. But first, I'm going to get back inside and warm a bit up because I, I did underdress a bit for this <laughs> intro. So I'm pretty cold. <laughs> All right. I'll speak to you all soon. We got the same mug. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers for another beautiful day. Mm. Perfect. Oh, 
Oh, Ooh. the sun felt very good. It does. We were a bit worried when it was minus 23 yeah. down by the road. Yeah. But now we actually have to take off some layers. So we, we gotta enjoy it while it lasts because it's gonna it's get... gonna be colder. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so do you have high hopes for today? I um, I have learned so much over the years that I I cannot expect anything. So uh, which was uh, proven yesterday. Yes, correctly. <laughs> So I, my mind is open and uh, enjoying the trip. So, but of course, I want the mask oxen. That's the uh, cherry on the ice. It is. But it was very nice to feel that before we even saw musk ox yesterday, we were, well, at least I was satisfied with the day. Mm. I had a lovely day, beautiful light. A little further to go before we are above the tree line. So we can uh, start upwards towards the mask axis. Yes, one of the highlights of the year when you cross the tree line and the things just open up. It is, it is. above the tree line and welcome to the beautiful bare mountains of Dovrefjell. Right behind me now you can see the destination where we're headed. It's called, uh, the mountain is called Högsnita and this is the third time I'm here if I'm not mistaken and it never fails to amaze me when I get up over that hill and I can see this beautiful landscape and just the fact that I know there are muskox just waiting further up ahead. It, it makes this a really special moment every time I get up on this plateau. Uh, it's, it's just simply fantastic. So I think we have maybe 40 minutes of walking left before we can see some muskox. And the, the other lads are, you can probably spot them in the background, they are pretty far ahead of me so I, ha I have to catch up with them. But I just wanted to check in and show you our end gold. Att vi kommer ner med eller en liten om ett vi får gått på bara följt det så sporar så upp på toppen då kommer upp förbi dig. Mm. Så får man lite avblick och så kan man spisa där uppe. Ja. Ja. Good plan. Good plan.
This is absolutely fantastic. Right behind me, there are three muskox. And they're not bothered by us at all. They're laying down in the sun, resting. But we're gonna keep a safe distance anyway. So what do you think, Gunnar? I haven't looked over the edge yet, so... <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's some musk oxen. Then they look pretty not cold because, you know... They're better dressed. <laughs> better dressed. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll let you go. Yeah, I, I have to film, you know. I'm, I'm gonna film you seeing the musk ox. <laughs> So we found a good spot and the animals are completely still. They're not bothered by us at all. So we're gonna wait here for a bit while the sun sets. Uh, we have around roughly 45 minutes of daylight left before the golden hour begins. That's usually when the magic happens and hopefully when that light hits we will see some movement in the animals. But so far only the little calf uh, because there are actually four, not three. Uh, so far it's the only little calf that has been moving, like scratching his or hers head against a rock. But it's really, really nice just to sit here and observe these magnificent creatures. It's a life, eh? It is. Just being out on the mountain, almost alone. Almost alone. Mm -hmm. With the mascot. Couldn't be better than this. Four ah. beautiful animals. Oh yeah. Doesn't mind we're here at all. Nope. You can tell that, uh, especially by the the bull on the left side there. It's had its back turned towards the, us. And, uh, the back towards ag us. Ag against us. Against. I think, <laughs> but he has he has been that l uh, the whole way, so yeah, so definitely not bothered. Nope, but that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Yeah, we need to respect the animal up here. Yeah. Our shadows are getting quite long, and the sun is slowly fading. Yep. Do you think we'll see other something other than its back before it's too late? Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the sun to go down. We got more even light but you still get that beautiful glow in the air. Yeah. So uh, I don't mind they laying down now. Mm. It's better that they stand up when the sun goes down, in my opinion though. Which day very may, might, well, uh, <laughs> which day might very well will be do. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, it's hard for the jaws <laughs> to. Which might be the case. <laughs> yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. The little one is feisty. Is running around. Yeah, they are the small ones. Uh, I guess they need a little bit more food than the adult ones. And uh, has apparently lost his mom. Oh. I don't know where she is. I don't know how you but, get uh, this information. Because you have three bulls with one calf. I see. I see. I, I know how you, how you get that information. Mm -hmm. 
you can you know male cannot be pregnant <laughs> you know I had initially decided to leave this bit out of the episode, that the calf was sick and all. I figured I didn't know a whole lot about it, and I still don't, which would make it a bit weird for me to talk about, I thought. But when I started editing, and got sick myself, I felt even more sorry for the poor animal. As I had a warm house, medicine, doctors, water, food, couch, good people around me, Netflix. This poor fellow only had this. And this sadly wasn't enough, and just a day after we left Dovofjell, we got news that the calf died. A harsh nature indeed. Okay, something interesting just happened. As the little one got up, and started walking around, scratching its head against rocks and parading in the in the sun that it's slowly setting now. That was magnificent and I got one photograph that I'm fairly happy with. You can see it right here. Hopefully I got more, but this was the first one I saw when I flicked around the images after it has gone back to, to sleep. But this is great. I love it. The animals didn't move, but we got a killer sunset, as you can see right behind me now. But this marks the end of day two from Dovefjell, and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good evening or morning or whenever you're watching this video. Take care, I'll see you tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, but you know the drill. Good night. Last day. Last Always day. all last comes day. together. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Last day, last day. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, it was. That was amazing. Absolutely. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He just got up and just started posing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a In the wind. It was. I couldn't believe that. That's just. And then, and then I said, all right, I'm done. I'm just lying back <laughs> down. <laughs> Go home now. Oh, oh that was oh, fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that.